Hi there, in my last video when I machined the main bearings I was hoping to uh, also drill the hole for the camshaft at the same time but I couldn't because I got it held in the um, milling machine the wrong way around uh, but I'll just show you what I did uh, following that video to address that problem. Well in order to uh, drill the hole for the cam gear shaft what I've done is I've put a piece of rod through the main bearings and uh, I've used an edge finder to find the centre of that rod then I've moved the table that way 24 millimeters because the distance between centers for these mod 0.5 gears is actually 24 millimeters. And I've put this piece of rod in the um, collet chuck and I put the gears on and uh, they turn very nicely. So I'm quite happy that uh, the mill table is in the exact position to enable me to centre drill, drill and ream um, this hole for the cam gear shaft. But I'll do all that off camera. Well that looks pretty good. Happy with that. And in this video I'm going to machine the crankshaft. Okay so the drawing suggests making the uh, crankshaft out of a piece of hot rolled steel. Uh, but I'm going to fabricate mine. Uh, I've had a lot of success with fabricating crankshafts and uh, the farm boy worked out uh, very well. So uh, the way I'm going to approach this is I've got um, a piece of 3 8 of an inch diameter mild steel bar um, and uh, a similar piece for the crank pin and for the crank webs I'm going to use again these pieces of mild steel uh, which are the correct thickness and width but these need to be cut to length these have been cut to length already and I put little centers on each end just in case because you never know when you might need that um, so I think first of all what I'll do is I'll super glue these together then go over to the mill and uh, mill them to length and then I can mark them up for these holes Okay, so they're cut to length and uh, I've marked them up and uh, the top uh, position needs to be drilled and reamed to 3 eighths of an inch and the bottom one to 5 sixteenths of an inch and I'll do that on the mill.
Okay, so uh, I need to do the same on this position here, uh, but it needs to be 5 16 of an inch, but I'll do it all off camera. Well, that seems to have turned out okay. So now for the crank pin, what I need to do is to uh, turn these uh, outside the diameters down to 5 16 of an inch so they can fit in the uh, crank webs. But I need to leave this uh, the gap 7 16 of an inch, I need to leave that at uh, 3 8 of an inch in diameter. Okay, so this is the crank pin, so I need to leave the section in the middle 7 16 of an inch. Now the crank pin is total length 1.0636 of an inch. Um, 7 16 is uh, 0 0.4375, so if you take 0 0.4375 off the total length, you get 0 0.6261. So if you divide that by 2, you get 0 0.313. So I've got the tool on the edge here and now if I move the carriage back to the left 0.313 and set the stop that gives me exactly the position I need to machine up to Perfect. So I'll repeat the same process on the other side, but I'll do all that off camera. Well, the drawing calls for a requirement to create a shallow groove for the ignition cam screw round about there. But I'm going to leave that for now because I'm not too sure whether or not I need that. Um, but uh, the rest of it looks spot on. Uh, that's perfect. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, lock tight it all together. But I'll do that bit off camera because it's uh, a bit fiddly. Okay, so the lock tightening seemed to go okay. So what I need to do now is to... Uh, drill through with this 1.2 millimeter drill bit in four places uh, to a depth at, at least halfway through the crank webs and once I've done that I'll, then I'll pin them Well, they seem to have worked out okay. So now I need to remove this uh, piece here. Make sure I get the right one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I just couldn't wait to do a trial assembly just to make sure that everything's nice and straight and perpendicular and that it runs well in the bearings and um, there's no tight fit with the piston. So I've assembled it with, with the piston rings on and uh, I'm really happy with the result. And if I uh, cover the spark plug hole and the inlet outlet hole and bring it back that's the compression it's retaining crude test but uh, I'm really happy with the way that's uh, looking so far the only thing outstanding is the keyways for the uh, flywheels but that's something I'll revisit once uh, I've uh, got closer to uh, final assembly. Well, I must say I'm absolutely over the moon with the way that's turned out. Really happy with the result. And uh, it turns ever so nicely. I can't believe it. Anyway, I uh, hope you found the video of interest and I hope to see you later. <laughs>